Hi everybody, it's Audra, Independent Creator with Magnolia Design Company. And tonight, before I even get started, I've already made a mess. <laughs> um, tonight I thought I would try making a t-shirt for the first time ever. After I wipe off this ink that I managed to get all over the t-shirt. Because I had it all over my hands. So, tonight I'm going to work with our white ink and sparkly silver, or shimmery silver, sparkly silver. I'm still learning the names of the colors. So those are the two colors I'm going to use, and hopefully I will get them strictly on the design and not all over the entire t-shirt. And I'm going to make myself a Magnolia Design Company t-shirt. And we have these little flowers. It's a pretty big one. I might use the small one. And a join me uh, transfer as well. Uh, first thing we need to do is put the shirt around this board. This will go between the two layers of material so that we only get it on the top portion and not in that it doesn't go all the way through. So the top here is a little sticky. I don't know if you can hear that. Sticky so that it will stick to the shirt and the shirt won't shuffle around as we're trying to put the design on it. I'm going to kind of curl it a little bit. I've never done this before, <laughs> so hopefully I'm doing it right. Um, I just kind of slide it in the shirt. Maybe like a pillowcase? I don't know. Let's see. That's not working because it's sticking. <laughs> and now it's sticking to my arm. <laughs> Oh goodness. All right, I need to roll it a little bit and slide it in, but not stick it to itself. That wouldn't be a good thing. Here we go. Maybe I should have practiced. Hmm? Oh, but if I practice, then you all wouldn't see the reality of how it really works. <laughs> it's not too bad. All right. So I've got it centered. I'm pretty sure I've got it centered. I'm going to make sure it's flat. It's kind of curled. There we go. All right. I'm sure that'll dry. It's just water or um, from the disinfectant wipe. Okay, so I'm going to do this upside down tonight because I need to be able to line it up where I want it. Okay, so first I want to put the logo for Magnolia Design Company right here. So I will need to fuzz the transfer before I put it on. I've already got back written on because I've used it once. I made a little sign. I'm going to fuzz it on the towel. I'm going to place it right about there. I think that looks straight. Okay. 
And I'm debating if I want white or if I want the sparkly silver. I do like things that sparkle. I think I'll do this white and the flower in, in this sparkly silver. So we have our ink. We have to be very careful with this because this is ink and not just chalk. I'm going to use this big one. I have to be careful not to go off the edge of the transfer because I don't want to get like I had it over here and make a mess. There we go. Uh oh. <laughs> and I did it. I had it on my fingers. There we go. I'm taking the excess and putting it back in the container. I think that's good. Okay. Now I'm going to peel it off after I make sure I have that on my fingers. Now, I want to put Join Me on here. Whoop, I almost didn't write on the back. Okay. I'm going to put that right about that's drying up yet so I'm not going to let the transfer go down on the ink all right do a little white on this as well doing our own little silk screen in here got the ink way over there because I know myself well enough I don't want it right next to the shirt look at that okay
I just stuck the transfer in the water. Now, question. Do I want to put, oopsie, flowers? Or do I want to leave it like that? I really like how it's turned out. But I also really like these flowers. I think I'll do the flowers. I did it again. Look at me. I'm rushing. I haven't done it this like this before. I'm a little nervous. Okay. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to make silver. Putting the extra, I'm scraping off the extra and putting it back in the container. Now I'm going to peel this off. Oh, it sparkles so nicely. Oh my goodness, I love it. All right, I'm putting another one. I've been talked into it. I'm going to put this one right about here. <laughs> yes, look at me. I hope I got all the air bubbles out. making sure I cover all of the silk screen area so that none of the flower gets left out. I'm scraping up the excess to put back in the container and now I'm going to peel to reveal. I like it. Okay, so, one moment. Now we need to set it so it will be um, permanent. So I'm going to dry it up a little bit first before I remove it from the the board. I really love these flowers. I'm going to have to start using them for, for more creations. All right. I'll take first, I'm going to put these away. out of reach because I don't want to risk knocking them over or getting it on the shirt. All right, I'm going to clean my fingers. Okay. 
Now, I have an iron sitting behind me, warming up. So that I can set this with heat. Um, it's set at medium or cotton level. And we're going to put parchment paper over the design. And then we will iron over it for four minutes on the right side and then we'll turn the shirt inside out and we'll iron on it for four more minutes in order to set it okay so there's that wipe this down a little bit get the ink off of it So I don't know if you can see, but I have my ironing board out. Okay, parchment paper. Place it on here. So I'm watching the clock. I've got 9.38 right now. So I'm just going to set it with the heat of the iron for four minutes. And pause this so you don't have to watch me iron for eight minutes. Okay, so I've done the first four minutes on the first side. Okay, the first side I've done the first four minutes. So now I'm going to turn the shirt inside out. You can see it a little bit through the back side, so it'll be easy to see where the pattern is so that when you place the iron and the parchment paper, you'll know exactly where to go. And so, I'm going to do this for another four minutes, and I will be right back. Okay, it's been four minutes. On the second side, I'll turn it right side out. And here we have my own t shirt that I just created myself. I don't know if you can see it. The flowers are very sparkly. I love sparkle stuff. All right, so that's it. I will take my transfers that I used tonight and you rinse them off with cool to lukewarm water and um, wipe them with disinfectant wipes in order to keep them in good shape and dry them with a sticky side up so that the stickiness will come back as they dry and we can place the bags back on them and store them for the next time. So that's it for tonight. Um, I appreciate you joining me again. And um, if you're interested in being able to do this yourself, check out the link to my website. Or 
send me a message and I will see what I can do to help you. Thank you. Good night.